like one favorite, I have a kind of favorite. I like fantasy. I don't know, James Bond or something oh, with action, nice. you know, yeah, with action. Yeah, that's nice. And what's your favorite? I like Star Wars 1, Star Wars 2, Star Wars 3, Three Star Wars 4, Star Wars 5, Star Wars 6, and 7. Seven. And like really old French funny movies. Because that's like, how can you not? Like uh, basketball and football. Mm -hmm. I play, right now I play many basketball. You know, with a drummer and basketball player, you need to have, you know, the ah, right. ear, yeah. the wrist. Yeah. It's coming everything for a shot from wrist, so uh -huh. like, a, like a Muller technique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, I did a lot of like tennis, and so my first word ever was ping pong. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I was, I don't know, maybe a year old. Ping pong. Make just fun from the music, listen music. Have fun with that, practice of course, <laughs> and just meet other people because it's very important to listen to other drummers, to go on the clinics or listen to these shows like like we got a duo, it's an interesting thing, or other stuff like this. So yeah, that's an important thing. If you want to be a serious musician, I feel like the best way to get to be uh, the, the, the drummer you or the musician you want to be is to learn how to take criticism. If you learn to be open-minded and to uh, listen to a lot of different opinions, then you can, you can uh, see the mistakes you make and then you can grow with them. And that's really important for like, your, your musician or even personal growth. Yeah. I use DW drums, hardware and pedals. I use Sabian cymbals. I use big fish sticks, same paths, hard case, and remote drum heads. I'm with Sabian like 10 years, so it's been a long time. Yeah, very really? long. I was from the beginning, like that small kid. Alright. Oh, yeah, so I am so happy that we are keeping in contact. And with Vic Fear, when I was five years old, I got my first signed sticks. So oh. that's cool. So I'm so happy. So I play Gretsch drums, TRX cymbals, uh, Vic for sticks, Remo drum heads, Gibraltar hardware, Simpad cymbal washers, um, Roland electronics, and uh, I've been in I've been in great touch with the people over at all these brands, and they make the best product for all, all my uses. I, I really find find my sound in them, and uh, they've been great over the years, and I visited most of their uh, their offices and uh, and I, I've, I've witnessed all the, the growth even in the last couple of years and it's always been uh, very very interesting to watch and I look forward to to seeing the future with them. I had a lot of toms and cymbals in my setup because I wanted to have many different sounds to create melodies. From 10 to 18 inch toms, different size of crushes, splashes, stacks. I had a lot of fun creating music on drum set with different tone qualities. It was just perfect way for me to build a solo and stuff like this. I really wanted to push myself and use a very different setup than usual for FNF. I decided to not use any rack toms and to instead have my Roland SPDSX in front of me. Having it in the center allowed me to control the loop very easily. It also pushed me to find new ways to solo without rack toms, for example using more floor toms or hi-hat and snare. It was my first time using my SPDSX as a loop controller. Creating loops and playing them live is coming popular with many young musicians. Being able to program the sounds and patterns and then switch from a solo section to a chorus section just by hitting a couple pads is such a cool experience. Plus, it gives drummers the ability to control more of the music than just the drumming. It was a cool experience to play with loop. I tried to give some groovy moments in the solo and also some melodic stuff. I came up with many patterns of melodies on toms. Playing our solo over and over, we did some corrections trying to find that perfect one. And that was it. 
It was just so much fun for us to create solo with loop controller. I think it's a cool way to do that. For our second tune, Igor and I decided to do a live loop. I composed a loop using the built-in sounds on my recording software of choice, Logic Pro 10, and then used my Roland SPDSX to control the loop so he and I could play on top of it. I started with a very simple shaker loop from the Apple Loop sound bank. I then recorded some cowbell patterns using Logic's musical typing. I thought it needed some kind of a backbeat, so I added a snap on three. I then added some congos from Apple Loops to fill in the groove. Then, while playing around in Apple Loops, I found an acoustic guitar loop that fit perfectly with a bass loop, so I put those two together. And that's it for the composition. It's as easy as that. Now onto the SPDSX setup. I exported one bar of each of the different instrument tracks while soloing them one by one into WAV files. From here, I only had to connect my SPDSX to my computer using a USB cable, open up SPDSX WAV Manager on my Mac, 
and drop the files one by one on each individual pad. Then I set every pad on my SPDSX to the loop setting and ta-da, it works great. Let's try it. Now that you have everything you need, it's your turn to make a loop. Your hands are all over your face, so try to <laughs> keep them off your face. It makes people think you're lying when you when you cover your mouth like that. <laughs> oh. Igor is the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> what are your goals as a musician? Like just play with F and F the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like F and F today and F and F fifty years later. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put like an Apple Tower? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's great. Paris. Yeah. Eight. Four. Four. Yeah. Or four eight. Eight four. Do you want to do it? European. Uh, European way. Yeah. yeah. European. <laughs> it's crazy. <creative. laughs> so. So. <laughs> I think they're perfect. Yeah. Woo. Hmm? So now, uh, give us money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>